Hello. Welcome. Hello, welcome. Now, chat, let me just show you my setup today. Today we have the brushes. We have the, the bucket. You guys can't see it, but hello. The painting we're gonna do, we're not gonna do any mountains. We're gonna do a campfire. Would you guys like to see what it looks like at the, like right now? What we're trying to paint? Or, or do you guys want to see like surprise? Welcome back, glad to see you today. Sup? You know, in every series there has to be a crazy day, and this is our crazy day. <laughs> today, like, so ooh, crazy! It's really far out, and it maybe it'll excite the imagination. We're gonna okay. have a little campfire down here, okay. and all the big trees around, and we'll just sort of see what happens. Gotcha. And I've taken a black canvas that was painted with a flat black acrylic that was allowed to dry, and then covered the entire canvas with a lizard crimson. Oh, okay, okay, we need to do that. I feel like I need to change my bottom shirt or my bottom shirt for this. Hold on. Look at me. I'm a painting. Look at me. I'm a painting. Sup? Happy little trees. Happy little trees for days, chat. For days. Chat, you thought you thought I was done, huh? You thought I was done. Oh, just you wait. I haven't done art in five years, chat. Let that sink in. Listen, listen, it's gonna be fine. Listen, listen, <laughs> we're gonna, this is gonna be a problem. Hold the phone. Listen, 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 listen. We have a stream. <laughs> ah, don't get on my keyboard. Okay, we're fine, everything's fine. Why won't you stay? Oh. Two hours later. Everything is awesome. Holy cow! Paintings. I've already got it on my desk. Oh, I'm spreading it. Oh no. We're fine. Everything's fine. You know what? I'll just buy a new. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Look at that. You're adding more? Yes, I'm adding more. It needs to be red! Why aren't you spreading them? Get the frick on the... <laughs> it's supposed to be wet? Why the... Why'd you pick black? Listen! Hold on. You're wrong, chat. Just know, I'm hunting the game. <gasps> no! Ruined! Ruined! Shake? beat the devil out of him. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. So, let's go. Okay. Let's start out with cad yellow on the 1 inch brush. And Hold on, don't do anything. Cad yellow. No, that's yellow ochre. Indian yellow. Is this cad 
yellow? Cad yellow. Okay, on the one inch brush. This is a one inch brush. This is a one inch brush. Okay, got it. Okay. And decide where you want the little campfire to be here. And we'll start, let's put it right there. And just start making little X's or crisscross. What? Okay. Okay. So we got a little yellow. Where'd he put it? Where'd he put it? Here. And we'll start. Right there. Okay, cool. A little bit of cad yellow. All right, Bob. I got some cad yellow. Now what? Okay. Let's put it right there. And just start making okay, little X's right here. Ah, it's not as bright. Okay, so let's go. Okay, Bob, help. Little X's or crisscross strokes, and working around. There we go. And just let this go. I need more yellow. Go all the way out to the edges of the canvas. Even if you can't see anything happening, let it go. Okay, 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 okay. Here, hold on, Bob. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need more yellow. I need more yellow. I need more yellow. Listen, Bob. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. Uh. Beautiful. Okay, we are making our way. You know what? That doesn't look that bad. All right, how, how far do you take this, Bob? Because little things are happening, is picking up the color. Yes. There, just all the way out. Just these little crisscross X type strokes. Now, you can make this as bright as you want it, but each time, clean and dry your brush before you go back into the center. You want oh. it to be the brightest area in the painting. So we'll clean the brush, beat it dry, and add a little bit more of the cad yellow. And go right back in here. And what? just lay in some color. What? And then begin working outward again. What? There. Just very gently, still making the little crisscross strokes. <laughs> Working out where you don't want to bring what? the dirty brush back to the center. Don't want to don't want to ruin the beautiful bright color you have right there. Okay, now with the with the big brush, right? He said big brush. <clears throat> there. Is with this. Okay, with a large brush, I'm large just brush. going to begin blending this out. Okay. <laughs> Palette, though. <clears throat> no, 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 no. We're gonna listen to some music. Hold on. I actually don't understand, Chad. Someone explain to me right now what happened. I bought a white freaking easel thing and it's now yellow. Paints only come off with gasoline. Excuse me? Alright. Very softly. Let me like this. Now what do you do, Bob? Just mix them on the brush. Okay. And maybe we back here in the distance. 
We can just see the trunks of some trees and just let them sort of disappear. These are just some little trees in the background. Just sort of okay. A little bit of, okay, no, no, we're gonna mix it. Okay, that's it. Oh, God. What did you do, Bob? You just. Let's take the okay. fan brush. Okay, we'll put I have some it. Van Dyke Brown on it and a little bit of crimson. Van Dyke Brown, touch of crimson. I did. Just mix them on the brush. And maybe we back here in the distance. Okay. We can just see okay. the trunks of some trees and just let them sort of disappear. These are just some little trees in the background. Just sort of let them disappear. Maybe right here, maybe there's a bigger one. So we just push a little harder and just let it disappear. And we can put a little limb out here on him. He wants a little arm. Oh, wherever you want them here. You can just put little indications. Just far away. All kinds of little things happening. Like so. Now, let's take a one inch brush. Okay. And we'll put Van Dyke Brown and Alizarin Crimson on the one inch brush. Loaded full of paint. And we can begin applying some little leaves back here. And all we're doing is just touching the canvas bending the brush a little bit. All we're looking for is just very basic, gentle shapes. We're not looking for a lot of detail. These are just little background trees that are far away. So just wherever you think there might be some leaves, just drop them in. Don't really spend a lot of time worried about it. Maybe there's a little bush right there that just sort of graduates into nothing and just begin picking out little individual things and drop some little highlights on them here and there don't overdo huh? keep it quite subdued oh 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 oh! i'm not yeah i'm not there i'm not there little yellow ochre indian yellow mixed together once again this is just going to be background trees far away so we don't have to spend a lot of time worrying about them or trying to make them perfect you are telling the wrong person. Okay? Now, now we can have fun. I'm gonna take the large brush and very gently, I'm just gonna blend all of this in. I want it to be very soft what? and very far away. So let's go right up here and watch, very gently. Just still making the little crisscross strokes. Just begin blending all of it. Just let it blend away. Hold on. And then we'll just very gently. I wanna, I wanna add a little bit to the the tree. Mm. That looks so much better. We can use this big brush and begin adding all kinds of little things that are happening around here. Maybe right in here there's some nice little Wait, bushes. Wait, what color are you doing? And just drop in some basic shapes. We're not, not too Wait, really what color are you? Anyway. Okay, now we just take the brush strokes and some nice little I think he's using brown. Growing. And just drop in some basic shapes. We're not, not too worried about detail yet. There's one. Ladies and Bullies gentlemen. Made. Is we got him. Leave? I think him, so. Just let him fall right off your brush. And maybe as we get farther away here, maybe there's some great big trees that are going to be growing over in here. All kinds of little things that are happening around. I can't here. see where you're painting. Maybe right here, there's mate. some nice little bushes that are growing. And just drop in some basic shapes. We're not not too worried about detail yet. Maybe there's some great big trees that are going to be growing over in here. using just crimson and Van Dyke Brown. Okay, now then we can start playing a little bit. Let's take Indian Yellow and Permanent Red.
just mix it together. And let's begin dropping some little highlights right up in here. Just let them sparkle. Okay. Think where the light would hit them. Where do you want to burn it red? There okay. we go. Maybe a little bit That's up in here. That's bright red. Where's permanent red? There. I don't have permanent red! Right. No Indian way! yellow and a touch of permanent red. That's bright red. I'll just take it. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Indian yellow and a touch of permanent red. Right there. Okay, maybe right here there's another one. Now, as they get farther away from the fire, less and less you're going to see. So, back in here we're just going to begin putting a little bit of stuff. But don't worry too much about highlights back in here. Okay. Now then. Let's go right up in here and play with the fire a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I got in trouble for playing in fire when I was young. Really? Me too, pyromaniac. Today we can do it. Okay. We'll take a little bit of Van Dyke Brown, mm -hmm. and we'll just make some little indications of some wood here. And it's all burnt. It could be just about any old way that you want it. Way that you want it. There. And then let's, maybe there's some ground area right down through here that we can see. Still Van Dyke Brown, and just pull it across. Just pull it. I can. Okay. Right here and work down. Oh, so they look so bad! Because you're running out of paint. You're picking up more and more of the under color. And then let's. Maybe there's some ground area right down through here that we can see. Still Van Dyke Brown. And just pull it across. Just pull it. Oh, no. I can't. Oh, no. Now, I'll take a little bit of yellow ochre and burn umber mixed together. Oh no. And we can put a little bit of highlight. Okay. That looks so much better. All right, saved. Here we go. Okay. Now, tell you what, let's put a little Let's put a little fire right here. I'm just using a little bit of cad yellow and just touch there. Okay, there's one that comes way down. That's your world, so you can put them anywhere you want them. There we go. Just down like so. There's a good place for a couple more. So we'll put a little cad yellow on the large brush, go right here, touch, and pull straight down. Okay, just a little, touch, pull straight down. I have so much. It's gonna pick up the crimson that's underneath and turn a beautiful reddish color. Work from the lightest area, which would be directly under the fire, out. That way automatically, as you go away from the fire, it gets darker and darker. And very gently come across. Very gently. Don't want to kill all these nice lines that you put in there. Just make them just look like water. Okay. Now, maybe, maybe there's a little projection that comes right out through here. And you can make your tree as big or as small as you want him. All right. How are we just looking? Van Dyke Brown. Hold on. I love to paint trees. They're one of the most fantastic things in nature to me. Okay, give him a little arm or a limb up here. There we go. Maybe, maybe we'll have a cowboy out here. We'll put him a hat on. So we just start right here with a little edge of the knife. And just sort of come around. We can just see part of him. He's leaning up against a tree. There's his old, <laughs> the brim of 
of his hat, little top of his hat. And at home, when you have unlimited time, you can take a lot more time and effort with this and, and really go into some detail. I don't want to put and the cowboy. He's sort of slumped over, and there's his shoulder coming down. Hmm. I'll just get the cowboy. And give him some butt. That actually and looks not bad. Here. Use a little bit of the dark color and put a little tiny bit of a waterline indication in here. And just drop it in. Now, if you really want to have some fun, you could take the liner brush with a little bit of thin color on it and okay. sort of go over some of these little logs here and make them stand out just a little more because there'd be a lot of light hitting these. Chad, I think we're done. All right. It looks sort of like an old guy out here just silhouetted against the, the camp. Holy cow! And I think this one's about ready for a signature. A sign signature? So let's take, put a signature right, right about here. Now there comes a time when you can just absolutely piddle a painting to death. Next week, next week, I want to show you a fantastic oh, little... Oh, Chad, we did it! We did it! Holy heck.